Undertaker is now in the Hall of Fame. I'm super excited for this. Um, he's the first inductee, first ballot. I don't think anybody is going to... I don't think... I don't even know how they're going to top that off. As far as, like, anybody's going to go after him. Because Taker has been in, in the wrestling business for 30 years, since 1990. That's that's a long time. That's like That was, like, seven years before I was even born. You know, and... Just to see his career, um, he's probably had one of the best careers in WWE, probably the best, um, from the streak to the multiple championships, um, winning the World Rumble back in 07, um, the Hell in a Cell match, I mean, of course, that's a classic with um, Mankind, um, the match with Shawn Michaels back-to-back -back at WrestleMania, even with Triple H back-to-back. -to -back. I think Triple H is the only wrestler that he has faced at WrestleMania three times. Taker. Taker is the only, yeah. Taker. Yeah. Triple H is the only wrestler to face Taker at WrestleMania three times. I think WrestleMania 17 and then WrestleMania 27 and 28. Yeah. I think. Because I'm pretty sure. I think he faced Taker when he was like had that Becker gimmick. Um, American Badass, I think that's, yeah, so I think, yeah, three times, um, yeah, so that happened, um, even the match with Batista, I gotta rewatch that, because it's been so long since I watched that match, but he just had classic matches, man, I'm, I'm super excited for him, he's able to retire, you know, in, in his way, on his terms, because, um, a lot of wrestlers don't really get to retire on their terms. You know, most of the time they retire through, you know, through injury. And that hurts. You know what I'm saying? Growing up as a kid, you want to wrestle all your life. And then you get that news where the MRIs or the doctors tell you, you can't, you can't wrestle no more. So I think for him to, to retire on his, his terms was, was dope. Um... It's just so many memories, so many matches. And I feel like Taker is that guy where you can't you can't forget about Taker because his gimmick uh has lasted for so long. You can't forget about the Taker is that guy where how I can't explain it. It's like if you move Taker out of the equation of wrestling, it won't be the same. It'll be completely different. You know what I'm saying? It's like that domino effect. I feel like when you take Taker out of wrestling, it's like you don't know because he has inspired so many wrestlers. You know what I'm saying? From Randy Orton to John Cena, Brock Lesnar, um, Batista, uh, Edge. So the lines go, the line goes down. It's just so many, you know. Um, and I, I just find out that he didn't really care about championships as much. Um, when he was doing a podcast with Stone Cold Steve Austin, he um he didn't really care about championships. He just he was more into the storyline, you know, and what people can grasp, you know, from the story. And I didn't think about it that way. I'm like, I mean, that's kind of true, you know. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why I still watch wrestling because of the storyline. You know what I'm saying? That's what really made me continue to watch wrestling growing up. We watched it because it was the moves, you know, how they dressed. Now it's like you know more about WWE, so you know what's really going on. You still enjoy it because it's still entertaining. That's why I tell people all the time, we know it's fake. You know what I'm saying? It's, w it's WWE. WWE stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. They do it to entertain us. The same way y'all watch movies, it's the same way we watch wrestling. And man, Taker had one hell of a career, man. I'm, I'm so excited to watch and what he's gonna say. Um, they had posted on Instagram who's gonna introduct him into the Hall of Fame. Um, I don't know. That's a hard one. Personally, I think it's either between Kane or or Vince McMahon. Because I feel like Kane, you can't. It's like it's one of those things where. When you think about Undertaker, you think about Kane. So you can't, you know what I mean? You can't, it's like saying to somebody, 
you know you know Biggie, but you you don't know Tupac. You know what I mean? It's like it's that situation. And um, but if I had to pick, I'm gonna probably have to go with Kane. You know what I'm saying? Because they've known each other, and you know, growing up, we always thought that they were brothers. I was so heartbroken <laughs> when I found out they wasn't brothers. I was like, damn! I was like, they wasn't brothers. Everybody, I don't care what nobody said. Everybody has thought that at one point. Everybody thought that they were brothers. I don't care what nobody said. Whether you watch wrestling or not, you thought that these motherfuckers was brothers. Anybody thought that, you know? So, um, I'm super excited to what he's going to say at WrestleMania. Well, not WrestleMania, the Hall of Fame, because he's not performing. It's been about yeah, two years. It's been two years since he's wrestled. Um... It's funny I said WrestleMania because it's you're so used to see him WrestleMania every year. It's it's kind of it's weird to say um, Undertaker with WrestleMania. It's just weird because now you know he's retired now, so it's like he is WrestleMania. You can't think about WrestleMania without Taker. You know what I mean? So um, one hell of a career, man. Um, I would have to say my favorite match from Taker will probably mm, that's hard. I have to say between him and Sean at WrestleMania 26 or probably the one with um with him and Triple H at WrestleMania 27 and 28. Um it's it's so many it's hard, but if I had to pick those top three WrestleMania 20, Sean, Sean and Triple H, back to back. Those four matches right there is probably, you know, probably either in my top five. It has to be. Because it's, it's, it's the storyline that, that got to me. You know what I'm saying? When Sean had put his career on the line. And fun fact, just let you know. When Sean was going up against Taker, that wasn't the original plan. The original plan was for Taker to face Drew McIntyre. A lot of people don't know that, but he was supposed to face Drew McIntyre. And this is a time when Drew McIntyre was like a rookie. So, you know, he was a baby face. Well, no, he was a heel. I'm bugging. He was a heel at the time. And he was new. And Vince, you know, trusted him. But, you know, Sean didn't want to wrestle anymore. So he, Sean got into the equation. So Sean and Triple, I said Sean Triple H. Sean and Taker ended up facing each other at WrestleMania. And that's how, you know, the streak versus the career match came about. Um, yeah, the storyline, that's what kind of really grasped to my attention. That really got to me. Um, and then the following year, you know, Triple H came out. That whole segment, it still gives me goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say not one word. And that that segment alone was better than... It was probably one of the best segments of Raw. Because no one knew that... Triple H was coming. No one knew. He took a year off. He had mentioned that in his other promo when he was talking to Triple, talking to Undertaker. And no one knew that he was coming back. And that's why I always tell people all the time, social media ruins, you know, when it comes to wrestling. So when he had came back, I'm like, oh, shit. And then they looking at each other. They both looking at the sign. And the rest is history. So... That match with him and Taker was just a legendary. Um, one hell of a career, man. I'm super excited what he's going to do after retirement. Um, one of the best to ever do it, man. Um, he's, he's he's one of those guys where you can't, you can't, you can't forget about Taker. Because I think he, to me personally, I think he is the greatest character in WWE history. It's just facts. He's the greatest wrestler of all time. When you look at his career, it's... I, I would love to say Jeff, Jeff Hardy because I'm biased because that's my favorite wrestler. But when you look at the career that he has had, I don't think anybody can top that. So, um, that's all I got to say. Um, comment below. What's your favorite match from Taker? What's your favorite moment? Um, and... What do you expect for him to say at the Hall of Fame? See you guys in the next video.